Hey guys, so I thought I'd make a little kind of journey progress video um, with my new horse Urano. Well, I say new, I've had him for like six months, but when I got him the show season was finished, so I had like six months to get to know him before the show season started again. This was in a training show. Um, the course was all right, actually. Um, I made one big mistake on the last line, which you will see soon. Um, he has this next reel done. I'm a little bit far and a little bit flat. I don't support him. Um, he's pretty careful, but he can have those silly reels, especially if I don't ride him correctly. Um, he's a really scopey horse with a really little body. He's like barely 16 hands, but this massive counter stride. So he's quite a strange horse to ride. Um, but you'll see now down this line um, that he's really helpful and he's actually like really honest. He tries his best. I jump in really big into this line and my trainer told me if I did that to hold and wait for six strides and I didn't. I waited too long and then he had to save my bum, which he did, and then the last jump was fine. So that was our first 120. Pony got big pats. I was a bit annoyed at myself because I didn't listen to what my trainer said, so yeah. Live and learn. Wasn't bad <laughs> for my first attempt. That was my third 120 ever. I jumped two 120s before with a horse called Niger. So this was two weekends ago. This was our first affiliated 120. Um, you see there at the beginning, he's booked at nothing on the wall. <laughs> so he changed legs, so I get a big jump over this. This was supposed to be uh, eight strides. I did it in seven. Um, <laughs> this was also a seven show. I did that in seven, I got him back. He was really strong at this show. This was the first time I'd ever, ever jumped him outside in a show. I'd ridden him once outside when I tried him, and then the summer came in Dubai, and then we had to go and hide in the indoor because it was so hot. This course is okay. Nah, it's not, I don't know. It wasn't great. In the double, um, I jumped in a little bit strong, a little bit big, and my trainer said if I did that, I should hold and wait. I didn't. I jumped in really big, and I didn't wait, so he had to leap over the second part. He's really strong by this stage, as you can see. Not our smoothest, and I missed the distance here, and he has to save me yet again for a horse. Anyway, so after that, I decided I'd already had uh, one down. Um, I'm just gonna walk, I'm gonna get him back together, and I'm gonna try and finish the course nicely. So I just walk, give him a little scratch scratch, and then get my counter again. Um, don't have a lot of space to the next double, actually. But the rest of this course is actually okay. Um, Apart from my one big mistake, but like I said, I'm new to jumping this size. I am not a professional, so um, <laughs> luckily Urano gets the job of teaching me. Um, this last line was really nice. This was, I had a six stride here. You'll see I wait. I didn't make the same, the same mistake I made in the first show, and we finished nicely. Um, I think this was, that, that last run was 110 to 120 the first day. This day it's 120 to 125. This was actually um, a much better round. He wasn't strong like the first day. Um, so yeah, this is the first round to number two. I don't think I make too many mistakes in this course, especially compar compared to the first day when I had the blue jacket on. But he was really settled, and this was my second time jumping him outside, and he was so chill. And we go on all the right distances, into the double, nicely, nicely. He's, uh, I'm sure if any of you used to watch me jump him in the meter classes, which are on my on this YouTube channel, you would have seen how he used to pull me around the one meter courses. But when the fences are a bit bigger, he's a bit more um, focused. I don't know, I feel like he listens better. I feel like he thinks that he needs to listen. Uh, I can't even remember this course, so I can't even talk back. Ah, oh, it was really long to that, but he was super helpful and just jumped. He likes to jump from far, not close. We'll run the double here, nice distance, not too far. As you'll see he loses a little bit of balance. He pulls me forward on the turn here. There we go. He goes on his forehand, and then I'm a little bit deep. He just rubs the pole in front. Um, Yuri jumps better from far. And that last line was supposed to be six strides. It was quite a going six, so when I'd had the rail down and got a little close, I decided to add a go seven. This show is in the following weekend, and this was definitely our best course to date. So you'll see he's booked at the plants there. He's almost 17 and he still thinks trees are scary sometimes. Um, so yeah, this was definitely the best course I've had with him. 
Um, it felt really nice. He wasn't strong. He listened to everything. He just felt like amazing. Um, ran to the double here. Oh, ran to the related distance. I'm sorry, I really can't remember these courses. I have to just like talk as I go along. That was nice. That was either seven strides on an inside line or eight on an outside. I decided to go seven strides on an inside line. Continue round. And then this again was another broken line. A little bit short the last ride. I could have checked a little bit sooner, but I'm also cautious to do too much with my hands because he can get a little bit fussy. So I, sometimes I feel it's better just to be soft. This again, I had to wait down the six strides. I could have waited a little bit sooner than I did because the six was riding short for everybody. And we continue round. Took a little bit of an inside turn. Um, we actually came 11th on this show out of like 31 riders and I wasn't trying to go fast. I was just trying to go clear, which worked nicely, I must say. Um, I was so happy with him after the show. It felt like we were finally like coming together. She's really nice. I'm really happy with him here, as you can see. I'm happy with myself for not fucking up. Oh, excuse my language. I should probably cut that out. So this was yesterday. This wasn't as good of a course. Um, he was a little bit strong again. I think I was a bit lax and a bit relaxed. I was expecting him to be as easy as he was the day before, which he wasn't, which he is a horse. He has his good days and bad days. I didn't change here. I just continued on a counter canter to number two distance. This class is 120 to 125. Um, it's a new like show in the UAE called the Gulf Elite Tour so they made it a little bit bigger but the size is not a problem for him. Um, and then yeah I had a really silly stop here. I have definitely jumped him from worse distances. I don't know if he was a little tired. The lady who rode him last season and my friend Marina she said sometimes the second or third day of a show he would have one of those silly little stops. Um, so anyway, I just gave him a little pat, and I was like, okay, continue round again. I used to get really like, uh, I used to lose my ability to see a stride of a horse stop, but this day it didn't happen. That was not good. I should have either gone seven on an inside line or gone eight on an outside. I went middle to middle and did eight strides. It was a little bit short. Um, I'm a little bit long to this double, um, and it was a much worse distance than the one he had when he stopped. But when he stopped, I also didn't have enough legs on. I didn't put any legs on, because normally I don't really need to support him too much at the base, especially when I think the distance is okay. But anyway, again, I planned when I walked the course to go eight strides here, and then and when I rode the course, I decided to go seven on an inside line instead of eight on an outside, just because it felt right. I didn't want to start fussing with him. You can see he's getting a bit heavy and strong with me here. Uh, I could do with keeping his head up a bit more. Uh, I didn't go with him very well over that big oxer. Again, my plan was to go eight strides. I went seven on an inside line and he got flat. I didn't help him at the base. I should have squeezed a little bit. Um, and then the last two jumps are okay. This was nice, he jumped that nice. Again, he's getting heavy on my hands here. He was a little bit, I think a little bit stressed because I actually had to ride a little bit. Like yesterday, I was just so relaxed with him. But yeah, over the last fence, nice. So this has been our journey so far. Dipping our toes in the 1 meter 25 course. So yeah, stay tuned to see how the rest of our season together goes.